World order. Hello, everyone. <laughs> no! Well, I give up. Come the fuck on, dude. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> Thanks for the money, you fucking worthless humans. Nope, done. Nope, fuck you. Why am I toxic? So, the live holiday DSP tries it. It is. Are you ready? Drum roll. Here we go. <clears throat> it got me again. It's not it either. You fucking donkey! Alright, I finally got the drum roll. Christmas Crunch, everybody. That's right. It's Captain Crunch's Christmas themed breakfast cereal. Ah! Now, originally, what I was going to do, just to let everyone know, I was going to dress up either as Bob Ross or Santa Claus, and I was going to sit in the kitchen and do like an edited video where I eat it and I act and everything. And sadly, it didn't work out. Reason being, as you guys know, my voice got all screwed up this past week. So every time I had an opportunity to do it, I couldn't because I sounded terrible. And then I was going to do it last night, and I couldn't because I had almost completely lost my voice. So I had, like, no opportunity in the past week to actually do this, okay? <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're actually going to try it live, all right, um, and see what it's like, okay? Now, here's the thing. I didn't realize this when I bought it. I thought, oh, this will be a great thing for DSP Tries It, right? It'll be a cool thing to try out. And then last night, Kat goes, so you know that that's just regular Captain Crunch, right? And I was like, huh? I grabbed the box and started looking at it. I'm like, oh, shit. All it is, all it is, it's Captain Crunch that shaped like Christmas shapes. So I thought it was like, oh, it's something special. It has like extra flavors or it's like a, you know, it's not. It's literally Captain Crunch shaped like Christmas shapes to sell more Captain Crunch during the holidays. I was like, <laughs> But anyway, so what it's supposed to be, if you actually look, actually they show it on the back. It's supposed to be trees, trees, uh, stars, gr snowmen, and hats, and then the regular Captain Crunch pieces, okay? So I guess what we'll do, let's try it. I don't, obviously I can't eat a bowl of cereal up here and make a fucking mess. But I guess what we could do is at least try it and see if it's any different than normal Captain Crunch, right? <clears throat> Alright. Here we go. Very exciting. I know you guys are very excited for this. <laughs> it smells like Captain Crunch with crunch berries in it. I think that, like, maybe the, the Christmas shapes are flavored like crunch berries, so... I have no fucking self-control! That's supposed to be a Christmas tree, I guess. <laughs> That's supposed to be a Christmas tree. Sure it is. Devour. Devour. And it tastes like a crunch berry. There's a little bit more sweetness to it than the regular cereal pieces. See, here's one of the regular cereal pieces. Devour. Devour. It's sweet as hell. But it tastes more, um... More... More... Like sugar. The other one has a little bit of uh, a berry flavor to it. What else do we got here? Oh my god! Oh! Oh my 
my god! What the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, is it snowman? Is it supposed to be a snowman? That's a snowman. Sure it is. Devour. Devour. Okay, then. That tastes exactly the same. My disgusting pig-like mouth. Is the other one? What the? That's a Santa hat. Yeah, a sin. Sure it is. Devour. Devour. That's div. Mmm. Oh. I think I found a star. Oh, shit. I dropped it. Actually, the star is the best one. The star actually looks like a star. Compared to the other ones, right? Devour. Devour. Okay. I wonder if there's actually a piece in here that looks like a snowman. Don't you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? I... Would you like to eat a snowman? That does not look like a snowman. Oh my goodness. Devour. Devour. Amazing. So Windsock tipped me two bucks as amazing cereal. Oh yeah. Very amazing. Um, so, what does it taste like? Holiday cheer and magic. Yeah, it tastes exactly like regular Captain Crunch. Like I said, the, the fruit pieces here, I'll actually take, try to take like a handful of just the fruit pieces. Devour, devour. They taste like the Crunch Berries from Crunch Berry Cereal. Yep. So, it's exactly the same. As regular Captain Crunch, except it has Crunch Berries, and the Crunch Berries are the, are the uh, shapes. And as you can see, if you look in the box, there's a lot of them. I don't know if that's still the, the, the correct ratio of what they actually put into regular Crunch Berry cereal these days. When I was younger, they didn't have a lot of them. Like, when you get the Crunch Berry cereal, it would be mostly Captain Crunch with a few Crunch Berries. <clears throat> um... You feed, feed me more. Feed me, see more. Feed me. Not exactly the most interesting thing. Like I said, what I wanted to do with this, I thought it would be a really fun episode if I could film it as Santa eating it or as Bob Ross and say, oh, you know, giving comments on it or whatever and editing stuff with sound effects. But my voice got all fucked up this week. So I never had an opportunity to do it. And I was like, oh, I'll just do it live. I thought, oh, maybe if I'm drunk, it'll be funny. But obviously it didn't happen. So anyway, Captain Crunch's Christmas Crunch. It, for DSP tries it. It's Crunch Berry cereal with festive shapes. If you like Crunch Berry cereal, you'll like it. Um, if you're in the Christmas spirit, you'll probably like it. But it's certainly nothing special. Okay. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. I apologize that it really wasn't very good in comparison to, I guess, previous things I've done. You know, basically, when I started the stream off with God Hand and started drinking. I guess people liked it or at least thought it was alright. Then I have to play God Hand for like an hour. People were tired of it. They wanted me to do something else. So then I moved on to uh, Home Alone 2. I was liking it, but the stream viewers were complaining that it was boring and they wanted me to do something else. I think a lot of people wanted me to see me play Street Fighter V. Again, not kind of using your head, realizing number one, I haven't played Street Fighter V since September, so I'm not going to remember anything about the game like the characters I was playing. And number two, they changed the whole game. Like, they, they completely changed the balance of the game. So it's a lot different now, and I don't understand any of the changes. So obviously, me playing it out of the blue and not knowing anything um, wasn't going to do very well. And then um, I was trying to be Bob Ross, basically, during it, which lasted a whole, like, 40 minutes. And then I got just so upset how bad the game is. You know, I really, I, I'm sorry, but... You know, I'm not going to go into detail, but Street Fighter V is such a major disappointment for someone like me who I grew up with Street Fighter. I love the franchise, and up to now, they've always put so much time and attention into every iteration of Street Fighter. This is really the first one that I feel they just didn't care. They just wanted to make money, and the game is not competitively good. And I've already stated the reasons many, many times why, and I still hold by those reasons. But I, every time I play it, I just feel disappointed. Like, I get sad that the game is so bad and that this is what people are playing and think this is Street Fighter. Especially when just 
just a generation ago, we had Street Fighter 4, which in my opinion was 20 times better than Street Fighter 5. And it's like, this is the legacy, right? <clears throat> this is the legacy of what's happened with Street Fighter. It's so disappointing to me. Um, so, you know, that kind of, it, it really saddened me. And I'll be very honest with you guys. Like, I thought today people would come out uh, who I hadn't seen and people would be very, like, super supportive. And not to say you guys weren't. Some people were come out and being supportive, but... I thought that I would have like a, you know, a bunch of people getting festive and active and, and it really didn't happen. It more ended up being kind of just a, a, a more normal stream, if not even a little slow. And it made me feel kind of depressed with all the stuff going on behind the scenes with me. Um, and then the alcohol got to me. You know, the liquor hit me that, damn, I feel kind of shitty. I feel depressed because I was thinking it would be the polar opposite. People would be festive and active and want to come out and hang out with me. Even if the games were very good, it was kind of the opposite where people were kind of like, this sucks. And I was like, damn, that sucks. It sucks trying to do something special, you know, going out of my way, hyping it, dressing up, trying to plan stuff for it, dressing up like Bob Ross and everything. And then it ends up being kind of a dud. So I apologize for that, you know. Um, but it is what it is. And then I, I switched over to H1Z1. And I think people actually liked H1Z1 more than anything else during the stream. I ended up winning a match, which was pretty, pretty cool, right? So it is what it is. Um, I'm actually glad I stopped drinking. Because that's the thing, and I've learned this from experience. If you're drinking and you're feeling bad, that's the opposite effect you're supposed to have. It is a depressing, it is a downer when you drink alcohol. It's meant to be that. Um, but if you're starting to feel like bad or negative, that's when you need to stop. Because you're just going to get worse. If you keep drinking, it's just going to make you feel worse and worse. That's why I stopped. And now, actually, I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling good. I, you know, the liquor's kind of passed through my system. I'm actually feeling a lot better now that I did H1Z1 and got out of my system. So, <clears throat> All right, so anyway. Um, you know, it is what it is. Tomorrow, I will be doing my Christmas Eve podcast. It will just be me talking to you for a while about all kinds of stuff that happened this year. Um... And being very honest with you about both personal and professional stuff that happened this year. Uh, talking about Christmas, talking about the future. Tonight, like I said, I'm going to go through the gaming calendar and make a gaming calendar so, to, to, to work on tomorrow during that podcast. So, um, you know. So we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes. And then I'm off on Christmas and I'll be back to normal work starting Wednesday, okay? Dirty pig! Alright, guys. I think I'm going to end this. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I need some rest. I'm getting, I need to basically go eat, shower so I feel better, and probably, like I said, look through the game schedule for the rest of the year and then try to relax. I got to wait. Cat's working tonight. I got to wait for her to come home. But, uh, so tomorrow, Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve podcast, it should be good. I got a lot of topics to talk about, okay? Um, then I'll be off for Christmas. I'll be back Wednesday for multiplayer stream, all multiplayer. Um, Thursday, back to normal stuff with Final Fantasy and Minecraft. Friday, I'm off. It's the, the day of week that I got to do stuff that I basically don't like to do, you know, like go out and freaking, uh, you know, uh, do grocery shopping and errands and stuff for the week. I had a Costco trip I needed to do last week. We didn't get to do that kind of stuff. So I'm off Friday. Then basically that Saturday, I start up with normal schedule again. And what it'll probably be is Final Fantasy IV. I'm probably going to try to finish Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm going to do a major stream of Delta Rune. I'm going to balance that stuff <clears throat> with downtime stuff, such as uh, Minecraft, Black, uh, Blackout and Black Ops 4, um, Smash, multiplayer, and also my year-end stuff will be coming up, so I'll be doing things like the, the most disappointing games of the year and Game of the Year Awards countdowns on stream, um, and then when I'm done with all that stuff, uh, probably I'll start up, maybe I'll do Grand Theft Auto 3 and, and Dark Souls 1, we'll have to see what people feel like coming up, okay, but that's probably what it's gonna be, alright guys? SHUT THE FICK UP! I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay! That's it. Fuck this. It's over. I'm done. I'm done. It's over. Fuck this game. Fuck the Marvel Spider-Man DLCs. They're fucking absolutely god awful. I'm not wasting any more time on this. It's a shame. It's, it's a, a perfect example of a game that the campaign, the main campaign of the game is exceptionally good game of the year contender and a game studio that doesn't care about long-term quality of their game's life and instead just fucking put in three insanely uninspired garbage grinding over difficult boring ass fucking DLCs that rip off the consumer do not buy the Spider-Man DLC but by all means definitely check out the main game 
Fuck that shit and bah humbug. I'm not wasting my time on it ever again. Yeah, you're fucking up, you're cutting corners, and you're slipping big time. Do you know what? Do you know your biggest problem? It'll always be the downfall of your career. You're that? full of fucking shit. Because every time you got fucking something wrong, you give a bullshit fucking excuse. Well, right now, I'm fed up with your bullshit excuses. You dirty pig! Get out! Get out! Anybody ever watch my Twitch stream? Maybe it's because I'm a big fat ugly bastard with a microscopic penis. <laughs>